that mind goes into a, a locked closet and they can't get out. They can't see the, the way out to the door now, the keyhole, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. It's darkness for them. She didn't even like me to ask her questions anymore. Mm -hmm. um, things in the past, fine. She can remember things from the past. Yeah. But it was all the just short-term memory stuff. She didn't want to be asked questions. She finally told me one day, she said, please don't ask me any more questions. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, Mom. She has zero short-term memory. So as I'm talking to her, and she might be asking me a question like, uh, am I going to the senior center on Thursday? And I'd say, yes, the bus is picking you up. Well, as those words were leaving my mouth, mm -hmm. she would start asking the question again, am I going to the senior center on Thursday? And who's taking me? She won't make a decision anymore. Mm -hmm. Even if we were to go out to, to eat, mm -hmm. um, what, do you, what, what do you want, mother? She said, no, no, you pick for me. But one of the things I, I do to get her to eat is, um, I tell her the things that she used to tell us when we were kids, like the vegetables are the most important part of the meal. Mm -hmm. That hasn't changed, Mom. It's still true it's then, true. it's true now, so you need to eat these vegetables. Mm -hmm. Fighting doesn't work, arguing doesn't work, correcting her doesn't work. No. It's, She's not gonna no, no. Mm -hmm. So we just, we just go with the flow and change the conversation a little bit and move on to something that she's happy about or something that she likes to talk about. And, and that's what works, that's what works for me.